Hi everyone, today let's talk about keyword research and I'm going to show you what my process is and what it's important to me when it comes to choosing a profitable keyword. If you don't know me, my name is Tiz Coppoli and I made over $70,000 as a self-publisher and this is what I did. Well, first thing, if you plan to sell on the US, make sure to have a zip code here so you will see the proper sponsored product in the US. Also, I usually open a new incognito window to do keyword research to make sure that my keyword research is not influenced by any cookie in the browser. So let's start immediately. The easiest way to do a proper keyword research that I found is starting from the best seller lists. I prefer to pick books instead of ebooks because I'm aiming to sell mostly paperback books, but if you're aiming to sell ebooks, you can pick ebooks instead. Another thing, usually the main books category is not enough, you need to niche down a bit more so you can start selecting whatever niche you prefer or perhaps selecting a niche you are particularly interested in or that you already have some book published. And if you struggle to find a good niche with high demand and less competition, just consider that the more you niche down, the more the books will have less competition, but probably they will also be a bit less profitable. For example, we are now in craft hobbies and home and let's try to niche down more, going perhaps into pets and animal care. And now we can start to have a look at the books to see if we find any pattern in the titles or some interesting keywords. For example, dog training is a keyword. Here we can see dog lessons again, dog training guide again, puppy training is another keyword, raising a puppy perhaps is another keyword, and also something slightly different like dog food, homemade healthy dog food in this case, could be an interesting uh, title and book to take into consideration. Now I've opened a couple of books into another window so we can have a look a bit more in detail. This book, for example, looks very interesting. If you scroll down, I can see this uh, graph here, which is an extension, the Helium 10 extension that I use and I would recommend to anyone. With this extension, I can see how the BSR, the best selling rank changes over time. And it's pretty evident that this book is selling very well. Recently, the BSR has been between 15 and 18,000. And as a general rule of thumb, if a book is less than 50,000, 80,000, or even 100,000 in general, it means that it is selling. Clearly, the less the BSR is, the more is selling. With this extension, I can see how many copies per day and it is making like 12 copies per day with a profit of at least 5 USD per copy, I believe. So this book is probably making something like $2,000 per month. Also, it is independently published, it means it has been published via KDP, so it's a self-publisher for sure, and it has 140 reviews. So potentially healthy dog food could be a good and profitable topic. But let's have a look at the other puppy training. This book has way more reviews and probably is not made by a self-publisher. It is selling even better, but yeah, it was made by a publishing company. Let's have a look at this service dog training. 2000 reviews. This is selling insanely good. And uh, yeah, the same publishing company as the previous one. To be fair, even if a book is made by a publishing company, that doesn't mean we can't publish a similar book. However, if we can find a book published by a self-publisher, it means that we have more chances to sell. Let's have a look at homemade healthy dog food more in general. Cool. Here I can see the BSR immediately, so I don't have to actually click into the book page. And I can see this is selling a bit. This is selling a lot, actually. This is Kindle Store. This is not selling very well. This is not selling very well. Not selling very well, again, 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 again. Which is interesting. And this is the book that we were looking a few moments ago. And you can see that BSR is really different from the other books in the same niche. So perhaps this is not a profitable niche. And this book may have traffic from other sources like YouTube or blog posts or social media channels perhaps. 
As a general rule of thumb, if the first book in the result page don't sell very well, it means that the niche could not be very profitable after all. Another thing which is very important to me while doing keyword research is being honest with myself. Am I able to create a better book than the competition? If it's yes, then I can start to think about making that book for real, planning the book and all the things that come after, like how to make my book unique and standing out among the competition. If it's not, then I move on to the next keyword, because even if you find a profitable niche or keyword, that doesn't mean that your book is gonna sell automatically. And of course, I consider also the number of reviews that my competitors have. Likely, my new book won't be able to compete with a book with thousands of reviews. And in that case, it's very important to create something unique that can stand out. So this is the keyword research process that I use, basically. If I can't find anything interesting, then I basically select another category and repeat the process over and over until I find some interesting ideas. Cool, if you want to know more about KDP self-publishing, make sure to subscribe to my channel and have a look at this video here with my most profitable easy ad strategy. Take care.